Happy February! This is Shantae Trescott, founder of Wives in Waiting. I'm just so excited, as usual, but February has already proven to be so, so powerful. Of course, the first three days of every month we spend doing hold fast, where we fast with Kia Granberry. But we also have started the Wives in Waiting Love Yourself Challenge this month, and it has already been extremely powerful just seeing the pictures and the statements that the ladies are making about who God says they are and why they love um, the woman that God created them to be. And even now, a little teary-eyed because it is just truly powerful and my dog wants to get in the video. <laughs> truly powerful and amazing to see women choosing to love who God says they are because we are just bombarded and overwhelmed with who the world says we should be that we are we are a side chick we are our bodies we are our hair our face the color of our skin and we are not any of those things we are perfectly crafted by God for his purpose for us in his plan for us and there there's no reason for us not to love who God created us to be. And this challenge is, is really based on um, Mark chapter 12, verses 30 through 31, where God tells us that his greatest commandment is for us to love him above all else. And then it's to love others as we love ourselves. And if we haven't chosen or learned to love who we are, there is no way that we will successfully love someone else. So whether you're single, married, a mother, an employee, you can't effectively love anyone else if you haven't even learned how to love who God says that you are. So I really encourage you during this challenge to not just take a picture of yourself. It's it's more than that. Really examining your heart and, and seeing if you really love the woman that you are, if you really love who God created you to be. Um, you can't effectively lose weight. You can't make cosmetic changes to yourself from a place that's not rooted in the love of Christ. You can't be a good wife if you're not, if you don't have that foundation of love, of truly loving who you are. Because if you don't love yourself, you're going to reap what you sow. And everyone you come into contact with is not going to love who you are because you only attract what you put out. If you're not putting love out, if love is not flowing from your heart, you can't possibly get it back. Just like if you were to plant apples, you won't grow oranges. If you plant any other kind of plant, don't expect to get anything different than what you planted. So I really just encourage you as we move through this month of Feb February, this month of love, don't just look forward to Valentine's Day. Truly look forward to experiencing real, pure, and authentic love starting with you. So I hope you have a wonderful February and that you join us on this Wives in Waiting Love Yourself Challenge by posting a picture of yourself on social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blog, or Tumblr. And make sure you tag me or send me the link because I want to share and encourage you during this time. Peace and blessings. Have a wonderful day.